Hello there, this is Martin Clark, founder of the Combat Sombo system. Hopefully you'd have watched our little clip on Sombo Wrestling. We'll give you some idea throws. What you're going to see now, you can see the gentleman on the video clip, both dressed in bad dress. Both of these gentlemen have uh, seen service in both Afghanistan and Iraq active service so they both have some sort of military experience hence the military style uniforms they're wearing. Sombo wrestling is mainly uh, a sport with concerns grappling and throwing etc. Combat Sombo is an extension to that. Uh, you will see that a lot of the techniques used in Combat Sombo are used in Sombo wrestling as well. As I said it is a grappling self-defense system but we do use things like uh, wrist locks arm locks leg locks and strangles we use defenses against knives battens etc the one thing we try and stipulate within combat sombo is not just purely a self-defense system or we like to call it a self-defense system with a heart i.e. we try and control our reaction to any attack uh, and we also try and use it as a means of fitness and also producing better human beings. System not that difficult to learn the one major difference is where in Jiu Jitsu or some other martial arts you would learn a series of defenses against specific attacks we try and start teaching you first of all a specific throw i.e. you'd learn a hip throw and then we would say once you've learned the hip throw perfectly how many different methods can you use this hip throw as a defense measure as you can see the lads are now you uh, are using knives and they use a lot of wrist locks a lot of arm locks and you'll find that they do cross over from different martial arts you may have seen this in Jiu Jitsu, you may have seen it in Aikido, Hapkido, Judo, whatever. And uh, nothing is meant to be a purely, totally individual system. The reason why I've called it my own system is that I've tried to start from a different beginning. And my beginning is learning from a grappling stage first. Although you will see the kicks going in, most of the times they just kick in to just push away or momentarily stun their opponent. There's none of this business of uh, killing people or pretending to kill people where we hear of, oh, you could do such and such a punch and you will be dead in a few seconds. The thing you must ask is, why would you actually want to do that? Now we're moving on. Can you, s these two lads, are both in Sombo wrestling outfit and what they've just done they've demonstrated what they would do in competition and then they've demonstrated how they could use some of the techniques in a self-defense manner so you see arm locks chokes neck holds and preferably everything is done in a controlled situation counters and combinations obviously are used a lot now, if you are interested in Combat Sombo, you can contact me on sombogb at blueyonder.co.uk or you can visit my website which is www.combatsombo.co.uk I do run courses, or uh, what shall I say, my instructors run the courses so you're more than welcome to come along to them. Every year now for the past 30 years we have run a summer camp in the Folkestone area in England at a very reasonable price. I think it's £195 for a week. That includes accommodation, all the course fees and two meals a day. Once again we get people from all over the world attending that and we would look forward to you coming along as well. We also do a camcorder grading, this is where you can 
grade by presenting a camcorder results either in tape or in terms of CD form. We're now coming near to the end of the little clip you'll see that we've got the red man which is a so you can really bash into the techniques hope you enjoyed our little clip and I hope it's given you some idea about what Combat Sombo is all about thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for your patience and may God go with you